Alright, so good day everyone. Um, well, this time we're going to start from the very first, alright, on how to get, uh, get or access the Google Classroom on your PC and mobile phone. So. <laughs> Those are the things that we need to do first on how to use the PC uh, using Google Classroom and how to use mobile phones using Google Classroom. Right, first of all, you must have a Google account, right? So, in Gmail, I'll show you right here. So, you must have a Gmail, Gmail account. So, for example, this, right? So, I have one here, but it's signed up already, all right? So, of course, second, you must have internet and browser. You, have must, you must have also the browser. Um, our first topic for today is how to get access Google Classroom on your PC, laptop, and mobile phones, right? I'll show you how to use that one, guys. All right, to start with, let's close this, right? So, for example, right, you don't have a Gmail account. So, of course, you need to start with Gmail, then sign up for that. So I'm going to remove this. Right. Yes, remove. Right. For example, so create an account for myself, right? So just fill all the necessary um, blanks that are that are being required, right? So if you are done, finished, then you can start the Google Classroom. All right. So the question is, sir, where do we locate that? Google Classroom. Uh, this, there are many ways you can locate the Google Classroom, guys. You can just have Google it, for example, Google Classroom. It's the first one, and then it will show at the first link. So there you go. Then Google, go to the Google, go to the classroom. So that's it. But it will land you to your um, login page with the Google. It's because the, the Google Classroom associated with your Google or Gmail account. So the second one, you can have the apps or Google application here at the upper right corner of your uh, screen. So you can show it. Uh, I think it's here. So just click it that. Click that application. And if you notice, okay, I don't see Google Classroom. So which means you need to browse it more from Google. Right, if you try to click that one and then you go over here and go down and then find the Google Classroom. So it's here. So just gonna click that one and you and that will let you go to the Google login page. Right? So that's that's the two steps, uh, that's the two ways on how to access the Google Classroom, guys. Or right, there are many ways, but or you're just gonna I'm going to log in first, for example. I so uh, input the things that being required your your Gmail, your password. So in my case, I have this uh, dep uh, that that gov that ph enter. Then type the password. Of course, uh, the password will not show it here. So if we pass, I. Wrong, wrong, wrong password. <laughs> right, so I, oh, sorry, wait. There, right, there you go. Alright, so now that you are here, okay, so as, as you notice, guys, this is the same as the landing page of the Google. If you try to google.com, there are some Google apps also on your Gmail. So you're already logged in. You are already logged in on this Gmail. So then you need to click and you will be able to see this Google Classroom. So. Ta -da! All right, so this is the landing page of the Google Classroom, guys. All right, I'm going to explain uh, the parts of the Google Classroom. We're not going to add a class yet. We're not going to join any class yet, but I'm going to explain what's on this um, landing page of the Google Classroom. Now, if you already log in on your um, 
on your Gmail account, of course, it will show you, if you click the Google Class search, it will show you this page here. So no classes here. So which means you did not add any classes yet or you did not join any classes class sorry classroom or class yet so which means this classroom is empty right so if you notice here there is a option here uh it is usually uh it's Navi navicon i forgot the the term of this but if you're going to click that one it shows here the settings the archive classes, the calendar, and the classes. Of course, I'm going to click that one. It shows you the calendar, right? So in classes, it shows you the classes. Settings, and uh, it gives you also the settings of your um, Google Classroom. So uh, this settings just the notifications, right? It's This is very important. It's because the moment that you let your student or you as a teacher it gives you a notification about the receiving of the email notifications the comments of your post and comments that mentions you and private comment on work all right classes you teach so and so on and so forth so let's go to the class so next is the plus sign here now the plus sign the plus sign here is very important it's because this is where you can add right you can add uh, class uh, you can create a class or you can join a class so that's the purpose of this plus sign here the next part here if you want to move to another application of Google Apps it will show you a bunch of Google applications here right now if you wish to click and sign out then you can sign out on this page so let's move on to your mobile phones so I have here my mobile phone so I'm going to show you my phone it's here Okay, so that's a live cell phone, guys. So next is here. Okay, the first step, of course, it is the same as uh, having a laptop, right? So first things first, you, know, you must have a Google account. Okay, I already have the Google account on my mobile phones. It's because uh, the first thing that you need to go to your Play Store, it requires Google account, right? So this time I'm done, okay? Um... Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we need to get the Google Classroom application. So click on your uh, Play Store. Okay. Then you search for the Google Classroom. Right. It will show you the Google. And guys, make sure that the, the Google Classroom underneath of that name is the Google LLC. Otherwise, it's not Google. It's not from the Google company. So you must have the Google LLC there. I don't know what's the mean of LLC, but Google Classroom, then underneath of the name is Google LLC, right? Next is install. So the requirements for this is if you're using Wi-Fi, you must have your Wi-Fi. If you're using data, you can download this one using data, right? Or if you have a friend that has a Google Classroom, then you can just share it. Right, it's up to you on how to get that one. So in my case, I'm using Wi-Fi. So open that, open that Google Classroom. Voila, get started. So it will show you this uh, first page of the Google Classroom. So let's click the get started. So then it will show you, okay, um, yeah, I have lots of uh, emails, but I'm going to use the DepEd one, All right? Then, okay. Okay, so it will load. You just wait. You're just going to wait. Okay, there you go. So if you notice, guys, create class to get started. It is the same as having a PC or laptop, right? So look at that. No classes here. And on my mobile phone, create a class to get started. It is the, it's the same, right? The similarity of, of the mobile phone and the desktop or laptop is there is a plus sign. If I'm going to click the plus sign, join a class, create a class, and it's still the same as here, right? So, and another option here, the same thing, but it is, uh, gives you more options. Calendar notification, archive classes, classroom folders, settings, help, privacy policy, and terms and services. So, so how about here? Let's check. So, that is for the mobile phone. There are lots of options. So, but in our PC, you just have four options. And in our mobile phones, 
there are two uh, uh, many many options guys and also from here you can switch from different accounts right you can switch from any different accounts if you have five accounts and you're handling a uh, private classes so you can switch it here so in my case i'm going i'm not going to switch that guys so the plus sign join a class create a class and this one is refresh or send to google feedback so that's the differences between um the pc and laptop and the mobile phones right so if you have more questions regarding about the parts and on how to get or access uh, google or google the google classroom please comment down below guys so i'm just gonna assist uh, i'm going to assist you there i'm going to uh, give you a feedback on your comment right so see you on my next topic about the google classroom so goodbye for now thank you guys